Okay, so I've just spent a few hours fighting with my SX40, but we've finally made up again. The Canon Hack Development Kit is its great, but at the same time it can be quite frustrating if you're not sure how to go about installing it and everything. Um, I originally started off installing... There's, there's two different ways to install it. You can either convince your camera that it's installing a firmware upgrade or you can trick it to boot the development kit when it loads up um, and the way you do that is you do it by locking the SD card which I'm going to show you um, originally I tried to do the firmware update but I could not for the life of me find the button that said update firmware and it got to a point where I just thought this is getting stupid so I decided to do the other option so this is how I did it I hope it makes sense and I hope you guys are able to do it yourself because I think, I hope, it's going to unlock a lot of cool stuff. The most important thing is to find out what version of it you need. You've got to make sure that you don't download a version that's not appropriate for the firmware that's on your camera. So the first thing you want to do I'm on a PC, so this is going to be PC based, so I apologise if it's no use to you at all. But if you just click your start, go to Notepad, and we're going to create a new file in Notepad. So, so file, save as, we're going to save onto our memory card, and we're going to create a document that is VER.REQ. It basically stands for version request. Uh, if you're interested. Now we're going to also save, save as, and make it VERS.REQ. That's just so that sometimes it wants VERS for version, not VER. So just to be safe, you might as well do both. So they're saved onto the memory card there. Just check that they're on there. Yep, so they're on the memory card. And then I'm going to show you what happens so that you can check your firmware version. Okay, so the site I was reading, they suggested taking one picture just so that you had a picture on the card so that you can go into playback mode. So I just took one random picture there. And what you do is you press the, f the function set button and then the display button. Don't just press and hold function set because it will do this and you'll end up with your timer. So if we go back to play, so we've got the image up. Go function set and display. My one is this GM100F. So once we've got our firmware version confirmed, just go into Google and type in CHDK card tricks. And it'll be the first link that comes up. So if you click on that one, there's a download option, a sort of a little way down the page and then that you can click this link and it says card tricks version 1.44 so if we click that we're going to leave this website but that's fine and then you'll get this download file I've already downloaded it but you would click download and it will download to your computer it downloads this file with all these bits inside but what you actually want is this one chdk logo and it's a program so if we open it up, let's minimise everything else. If we open it up, this is what our card tricks looks like. What we want to do, make sure the auto box is ticked above the SD card. We're going to click this picture of an SD card and pick the one that we're going to run our Canon Hat development kit on. So click OK. And then we want to format as FAT and that's just so that it can run the, the hack software on it. So yes, we're happy for you to wipe everything, so make sure you've backed up everything off of that card. So click OK, and it will say formatting card as FAT16. And you'll also be able to see the amount that it's formatting there. So you can see that's now finished, and the option next to it has been made available. You can now click Make Bootable. And if we click that, click OK, what it's basically saying is... Um, that you'll now be able to boot the, the hack within the camera. I'll show you that in a minute. So just click OK. And then you're going to download the hack development kit. So we're going to click this button here. 
And now remember, you've already checked which firmware option you need. So there's a whole list here, and we are all the way down the bottom. There we are, PowerShot SX40 HS. Now you should know which letter sort of corresponds to your camera. Mine was F. Yours could be any of these. Yours may even be a version that's not out yet. So just be aware of that. So anyway, so you click the one that you want and you download that and once you've got the version you want go to this button here CDHK to card so it's basically saying you're going to put the zip file on file onto your card now so it will mine open straight up from my download you might have saved yours somewhere else and then you just click the zip and click open and what that's doing that's now unzipping it all onto the memory card so that you'll be able to use it on the camera so again you get this box that's showing up and it's just running through everything so you know it hasn't got frozen you can see it's actually doing actions and it's putting it all onto the card for you and once that's done just close the card tricks and eject your memory card what you'll do is you'll press the play button when you first put the card in and because it's reviewing the card that's got the hack on it it will pretty much switch off and then when you switch it on it will have the hack there and then we're back to normal but you'll see there's these extra options like it shows you the battery level and the clock and stuff like that you can change all this in the, in the menu but for now you know it's not really needed um, what's important to know, just so, because obviously if you've installed it, you're going to want to go through all your options. Your shortcut button up the top here um, stops being your shortcut button and starts being Alt. So if you press it, you'll see this menu comes up the bottom and it says Alt there, which means that now when you press the menu button, you're actually using the hack menu button, not the main one. If you want to use the main menu, just press menu again to get out of that just press the shortcut button to get rid of the alt so you see press it once, alt's on, press it again it's off so you want the, the hack menu use it with alt without the hack menu it's just the normal one so unfortunately it doesn't sort of integrate itself within the camera but at least you can access that option quite quickly and if you just have a look if we now flip that lock back up and switch on the camera there is no hack installed so it's it's as easy as that just switch that lock off and you can use the camera in its normal state the best thing to do is if I just leave this as a how to install it video I will make one going through all the options and everything because it's pretty insane